Hello everyone, this is uh, from Patio Frutal. Uh, today we got a, a new bees arrived today. Uh, so I got better uh, uh, doing my videos. Hopefully I'll show you when I pick them up. Now this is a bee package. Uh, we're just gonna go install it. We're gonna do this as quick as possible. That way we don't give in too much stress. So follow me. We'll go to the bee yard. So first thing is, I'm <clears throat> gonna open this up. You might wanna get a little closer. Um, so. so what we're gonna do here is this one, as you can see over here has a queen excluder, which uh, I only use in the summertime because uh, I don't want her to be laying eggs where the honey's gonna be. And uh, so we're gonna put her in this um, brew box, there's two of them. This is a medium. Uh, so we're gonna, first we're gonna <coughs> put the uh, queen. Gotta get the queen first. Oh, tools that you're gonna need, it's gonna be the, uh, Tool here, you're gonna need a pin hole to make a hole in the candy where the the, <clears throat> the queen box is. So you're gonna need a rubber band to hold the queen box. You're gonna need a little pin to make a hole in the candy that is holding the queen inside. That way, in a couple of days, they'll uh, free her from inside the little box. <clears throat> We're gonna put this over here on the side. <clears throat> You wouldn't have to be digging too much. <clears throat> so first we're gonna extract the, uh, the can that has uh, sugar in it. Okay. So this uh, package of bees, they come with a can full of uh, sugar water to sustain them in the trip from the uh, from the shipping place that they, they send the bees so they won't starve in the, in the journey here. So these you're gonna keep close by and you still got the staples in here and sometimes it's just better just flatten them out because you're gonna need to uh, Try to keep your bees inside. This is a little tricky to get out. Now in that yellow tape in there, that's holding the queen uh, box in there. So we're gonna try to get this baby out of here. <clears throat> As you're gonna see, this is not the easiest thing to get this uh, candy water. There we go. All right, so now keep your tools close by. You're gonna cover the hole so the bees don't come out. As soon as you pull this out, some bees will come out, but be mindful of the little tags. Some bees will come out, but they'll be all right. All right, so we're gonna keep the sugar water near the hive. That way they can come and feed on it. You leave them no space so they can get under and drink some of that juice. So next step, we're gonna get the queen out, which is tied to this um, one. <clears throat> 
So we're gonna remove this uh, from here so we can open up the frame. So we're gonna see the queen is still attached. So you have to get it loose. These steps are very hard to work with. Alright? Once you got it free. A lot of bees in this. All right, so this is where the queen is. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, she has a, uh, let's shake them off. <clears throat> so she has a plug, I'm gonna get close. She has a plug here that is full of sugar. It's a sugar plug. So she has a first a little piece of wood, a cork, you might wanna take it out. And then you're gonna make a little hole inside the sugar plug. That way the bees will eat that out in a couple of days and she'll, they'll free the, uh, the queen. And then they'll get used to the queen scent. All right, that's true. So they make a little hole through the sugar hole. So we're gonna attach her to one of the frames so it's usually a center frame. And we're gonna use a rubber band to attach her. See if I can take this out. There we go. All right, it wasn't too bad. All right, so we're gonna use a rubber band and you're gonna put the queen with the screen facing out so they can always see the queen. And we're gonna put the rubber band here All right. Oh, there you go. All right, so you can see the queen is in there. And that's just gonna remain. They'll eat through that sugar hole and they'll release her. So now, there's many ways to uh, release the bees. You can either shake them in or you can put the box in. The problem is that the box itself is bigger than the frame. So that's a... Uh, if you leave too much space, they will start building up wax all around it and stuff, and it's hard for the uh, for the bees to uh, to start the first day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in in there. So we're gonna shake them in. So you can see they all come out. So you can leave a few inside the box, the hive, the box, so we're just going to cover them up. I'm going to use here the queen excluder so she doesn't lay eggs on my uh, honey super, so uh, we're just going to put them up. Do is to set up this uh, other box. 
box. Gotta give them a little bit of time so they can move up to where the queen is. Once they get where the scent of the queen is, they'll just go, gonna go inside the box. That's it. They're all gonna be in. Once they figure this is the new hive, they're all moving inside. We'll be, they'll be happy camper. They'll come down, they'll start eating, and, and that's it. Hope you learned something new. And uh, if this is your first time, like, share, and subscribe, and compartir frutal. Have a good evening. <laughs>